So a bus is basically a signal path for audio. When we're talking about buses, think for a minute a physical bus, a real bus that you ride on. You get on the bus in order to reach another destination. That is exactly what a bus in our digital audio world does to audio. We bus signals so it can move from one place to another. You may have heard bus this channel to the master output or bus it to its own channel. So when we're talking about bus, that simply means redirect or to direct a new duplicate version of the audio somewhere else. When we actually take the audio and bus it somewhere else, we call that sending. So sending is the actual action when we are busing a signal. So when we are going to bus a channel to the master output, we are sending it to the master output. So down here where it says vocals, I'm sending all three of these tracks to my bus called vocals. So the bus is vocals and they're being sent to the vocal bus. In this example, what we're going to cover is a bus that comes before your primary output and it occurs before the master or the primary output of your channel. This is in a location called sends. Again, a send is just taking our signal and sending it somewhere else. So when we initiate a send, we are effectively creating the same signal twice. One is going straight down through this primary output, and then another one is gonna stop here and go somewhere else. That is why we call it a send. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click on this channel, and I'm going to select add bus for selected channels. We have now created a bus. As you see, Studio One will automatically assign our output to this bus. However, we don't want our output to send to the bus. We want our output to go back to vocals. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to select vocals. So all of my channels currently are going to vocals but I want to send a separate signal to bus one. The difference between what we were at and where we're at now is that vocals is still being used. Vocals is our primary output all my channels are being sent to. However, on this track, another instance of the Amore track is being sent on bus one. Take note as I play this track. Now I'm going to solo the bus and you're going to hear the exact same thing, but it's going to be louder because you're hearing this channel twice, one from the primary and another one from bus one. Finally, we are free to open our hearts and breathe. This bus one is sending this signal to its own track going to vocals and then the original signal is going to the vocal output as well. So I have two of the same signal going to the vocals output. One shooting straight down to the vocals track and then one shooting down, stopping at bus one, being sent to this bus one channel and going to vocals. I'm going to bust the rest of my tracks to bus one. So this was just covering sins inside of Studio One. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. 
Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.